I do hope my camera's picked up the sound. It's been such a good day today getting our SIM card. 350,000. This one here, they're yeah. trying to sell me another tourist pack, 250,000. This, this is not what you want. This is a tourist pack, it's not for locals. You should be able to buy the SIM card. So we're out on a hunt for a SIM card for my phone. It's, it's really tricky in Indonesia or in Bali particularly because lots and lots of people look like official SIM card sellers. Um, they have all the, the different Excel and Telcom sales stickers outside their shops or signs outside their shops. But those prices vary hugely. I mean, almost they can be almost double the price if you go to the, the wrong store. And they're not extortionately expensive, but you can end up buying a card for twenty dollars that appears to give you eight gigabytes, eight gigabytes of data. But in fact, the, the data's divided up into some you can use for some applications, and some you can use for other applications. You might only get about four actual giga, gigabytes of data. If you can find a genuine telecom cell uh, store which is what we're hoping to do you can buy a sim which won't cost much and then you can just top it up uh, you shouldn't be paying much more than about eight nine ten dollars for a data package for the month along this road there are endless little sellers and they they really do fluctuate so let's see whether we can find ourselves a good deal uh, my name is imran imran thank yeah. you imran imran yeah, <laughs> Imran. From Bali. From Bali. <laughs> so Imran just told us we can find... Um, Which company is it? Indostat. So we're going to tre check out the Indostat down here. Down to the here, turn left, over the right. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. So there's Indostat, there's Telcom Cell. A lot of people have told us to go with Telcom Cell, but it's a lot further, the walk. Um, so we'll probably just check out this Indostat here. I think, um, if I remember rightly, it's a little more expensive, or uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> Stick with me. Another thing I'm going to want to do is check out a barber shop. Hello. Yeah. How are you? Fine. How much is a haircut? 40. 40, huh? I've got to get a haircut. Australian. That's four Australian, that's about four or three something um, US. So we're going up to these traffic lights. I think the lights might have just changed. It's like watching the opening of a, of a race. Now a lot of you may ask me about the, the temperatures here. I haven't actually looked. It doesn't feel too bad. It's warm. Uh, we're in early February now. And uh, it's warm, but it's it's not um, it's not so hot. I mean, we've just come from an Australian summer, so maybe that's the reason why. We've got to cross here. We've got to cross push them out of the way. So we've got to have a I smell durian. And now I'm right. Durian. It's a little small durian fruit. Not um not what variety. This is the Indostat, just over here, if we can get across this road. This one is Indostat, this is official. We've got the Indostat building behind. And here you are. Oh! Hello, how are you? So this is the fellow we've been looking for. <laughs> the name of this road. This road is uh, Jalan Raya Kuta. 
and so this is where you need to come if you're going to get your sim cards there are two or three companies in indonesia that do genuine sim cards this is one of them we're going to actually go with a very basic package it's about literally two australian dollars for a month it gives you one gigabyte of data and and a phone number for michelle i'm going to go for a slightly bigger package we'll use my package then for doing the social media the online the youtube stuff and if we need any extra um, michelle will tethers me but why i've decided to go with this company is this lady andy here she's given me a free sim card which will work for 24 hours just to try it out I'm going to check the speed, see what it's like. We may end up going for Telecom Cell, tem, telecom cell which is or um, XL, which is another service provider. But because Andy's been so nice, we're going to buy a SIM card from her. I mean, it's two dollars. It lasts a month. It means that I can contact Michelle by phone if we ever get split up. Um, she can contact me easily by phone, and she's got a bit of data. As a rule, we're using the Wi-Fi in the places we stay. So we don't really need it but i will need it for my phone because sometimes we'll need to tether and upload the videos for you guys to watch so big thank you to andy here uh, we are actually near the indosat office their main office is just behind us so if you if you can't find it you can always google it on the map but this is their main office here and there's a little retail little shelter at the front here where you can buy your cards it is ever so ever so simple so um, this card, for example, is going to cost me $2. If I bought this card up in the town here, it would have cost me somewhere around about $25. And we've been warned in the past that some of these cards, you'll buy them and you'll start using them and they'll just suddenly run out. They'll be deactivated. So make sure you buy your SIM card from a genuine uh, telecommunications store. This is really naughty. And Andy says it's okay to share, but... <laughs> Andy wants an English husband. She's yeah. so pretty and she's so sweet. So you know you know where she is. Yeah. Don't be abusive, that's just a little bit of a laugh. And she did say to me she'd love to have uh, an English husband, so is that inappropriate? I don't know. You get ten minutes for She is sweet. So we gotta thank Andy for setting us up with SIM cards for Bali. Take care, Andy. You have a lovely yeah, day. You. We'll see you again, huh? Okay. I might be back tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So how is that? We've got two SIM cards with connections for two Australian dollars. It's about a dollar, probably a dollar sixty, dollar forty even. Obviously, I've still got to buy a package, um, so it might end up being an extra ten dollars or so but i'm quite happy with that it's probably too noisy here to hear me there's a lot of traffic but um hopefully you can hear me okay i am shouting do you know what we're chatting so much with that lovely girl i don't want to get her in trouble we didn't pay she'd be so worried if we don't get back there guess what yes, we didn't pay <laughs> <laughs> We're talking too much. <laughs> I do hope my camera's picked up the sound. It's been such a good day today, getting our SIM card. I just hope the sound is coming through okay. And that was the lovely Andy at Indosat. How funny. So we've got all, all this, the, where the lady's working is covered. We've seen this before. I'll actually link a video if you want to check out that we, we had in Thailand where the vendor had sort of what they thought were lucky bees. Can you hear that bird? Oh, it's just here, look. Just near my, next to my, next to my barber. And this one here as well. Everybody has these little birds. Look at this little, right here. So I'll link that video down below if you want to check out the most amazing bees on a store in Thailand, in Chiang Mai. I'll link that video down below. Get across and check it out. It's really amazing. Sus? Yes, Brianna. Brianna. Yes. Okay, so we just stopped. We're just a little bit away from the telecoms and we're just gonna get nice, fresh fruit juice. A little bit of lime juice. We've got the mangoes, the green. These would be sweet, beautiful. Michelle's having the, um, the dragon fruit. 
Now they're putting a little bit of lime in with this as well. It's just, the lime just lifts the flavor. Probably a little sugar. But we need it. The, the telecoms were a lot further away than we thought. How long have you been here already? Uh, two days. <laughs> two days, huh? <laughs> two, two or one? Well, yesterday we arrived. Ah. Two, two days today, yeah. right? Yeah. Now that matches your uh, oh, shirt. Same colour. <laughs> same colour. <laughs> <laughs> I try? Yes, we need. You want to have a little try? Oh, yours? Mine first. Oh, there you go. I go. I go. Mm. So everybody, we've got our SIM card. Enter your room. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Oh, I miss the mango. I love the mango. Ah. Want to try my mango? Let me try your dragon. Just, just marking where, he, where he's at. Yeah, I know you're not. <laughs> That's good. Ooh, dragon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like nasi goreng, there's only one kind. Yeah. Like nasi goreng, that's it. Yeah. And they put some ink. But if nasi campur, yeah, you get everything what you want. So does nasi mean rice? Yes. So nasi champo. Where will I get good nasi champo? It's a good place. Not a good. not fancy, just nice street nasi champo. There. This one. That's one room. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna get nasi champur there. Uh huh. So they have they have put everything. So rice and then what? You can choose which one you want. That was lovely. We met Seuss and Rihanna. Lovely. She made us a, a really nice fruit juice. That was that was so good. Your dragon fruit looks so colourful. And Seuss gave us so much information. And um, what are the name of these little Warung? Warung. They, they roll their R's nicely. <laughs> warung. Warung. So he's saying we got to try out the Warung, and that's where we're going to get the best food. And the nasi chompon? No, it wasn't chompon. Forgotten already. So this is a warung. I'm not sure if I actually said the drink, the mango drinks. Try and remind me to uh, keep telling you the prices. So the mango drink and the dragon fruit drink, they were 10,000 rupiah each. So that's around about uh, one Australian dollar, uh, probably about 70 cents US. So if you want to learn about culture and the food you've got to eat in the local places and um, another another great tip that oh, I don't know if the sound is going to be picking up Michelle another great tip that Seuss was saying is that with the warung the warung it's you don't pay the tax there or no service tax so it's a lot less firstly it's a lot less just for the food and we're not you know, I don't say just do it because it's cheap. I do it because it's authentic. It's where all the locals are eating. It's where the best food is. And as Zeus was saying to us, hey, Cobra. As Zeus was saying to us, they have a, a, a fast turnover. So the food is, uh, you know, it's turned over. It's fresh daily. Some of the more fancy restaurants, they keep a lot of stuff in the freezers. They're storing stuff. So in the Warung, you're gonna get good food daily and fresh. Suk Sama. See the girls? There they loved it because we spoke Balinese rather than Indonesian. It just, a uh, little effort goes a long way. Now you might think that's bottles of vodka there, but I'll tell you what it is in, a, in an upcoming vlog. You can comment down below if you already know. Hello. Okay. Uh, so this is the beetle nut, yeah? 